I'm Manuel from uh, Martin Logan Paradigm and Ansem, and um, I present, uh, we represent all three brands for Europe. And I'm very happy to be my first time at the Varsha show. Uh, thank you. So let's maybe start with uh, all the three companies that you mentioned. Uh, maybe the most interesting would be Martin Logan due to the fact that, uh, well, the speakers are different from anything else. Can you maybe tell uh, a few words about the company and also what are the new products that you are presenting on the show? Yes, that's a very nice question because I came to the company because of Martin Logan. I'm a big Martin Logan fan since early 2000 and um, the company was founded more or less 30 years ago in the 1980s by uh, Gail Martin Sanders and Ron uh, Logan. That, that's the way the name came, Martin Logan. And um, it was a really small company and they, they uh, not invented the electrostatic speaker but they made it very reliable and from the beginning on they were uh, focusing on the electrostatic speaker. Yeah, and uh, I uh, understand this technology has been perfected over the years and uh, what is now the what are now the speakers that you are presenting uh, for Martin Logan? Um, the most important speakers is the Masterpiece series because this is our flagship model electrostatic speaker but with, with a normal base, passive base or active base design and the three top models they also have uh, a complete active base that can be measured into the room. So there's a room correction with a microphone that you can really adjust the base to the room. The thing was, a lot of people are telling us that in the past the Martin Logan speakers, the electrostatics panel was very nice, but the um, uh, the bass was a little bit too slow and too boomy, like a lot of American yeah. speakers. But today that's not a problem. Bass is fast and tight and you can even measure it into the room. And there's one more advantage with the new series. You can also place them nearer to the wall. A lot of people think electrostatic speakers has to be somewhere in the middle of the room. But with these speakers you can move much more to the wall for normal living rooms. Yeah, and uh, are you planning to come with something new? I mean, for example, electrostatic uh, base um, uh, parts of the speaker or will you still rely on the conventional uh, we will, speakers? We will always have one speaker with an electrostatic base, like the CLX. But uh, the problem with electrostatics is that in the base it's just limited because you have to allow, you have to have a lot of surface and you don't have a lot of movement, yeah. and, and then it gets complicated with the amplifier again and gets complicated with the placement again. So we will always have one model that is purely electrostatic, but most models will always be hybrid with yeah. the no with the normal uh, uh, drivers in the base. Okay, so let's switch to the other companies, uh, Paradigm. Uh, I saw that there were uh, recently some new lines uh, of Paradigm introduced. Uh, what are you currently working on? Uh, we just introduced our new top level line. To explain something about Paradigm, Paradigm in, the Can in Canada and US is quite big. In Canada they are bigger than most of the known uh, competition we have here in, in Europe. So that's a big name in Canada and it's a big company with uh, more than I think 300 employees. We do all the, a lot of people don't know, we, know, we nearly do everything ourselves. We do the drivers, we do the, the baskets of the drivers, we do the cabinets and we just introduced the Persona series and that's the series that also uh, Paul Park is displaying here yeah. at the show. And what, uh, what's special about this series is, is that it has a self-made by, made by us beryllium high range but only a beryllium mid, uh, own, also a beryllium mid range driver. Yeah. And, uh, and, the, and, the big, and the biggest model is also with the active base, also with room measurement and all the things. So it's a really top level uh, speaker series. And it's the first time that Paradigm goes into this price range. Uh, normally in the past Paradigm stops around eight, nine thousand euros. And, uh, no, but now it's the first time we go into the high end price range. Yeah. And uh, the last company you were mentioning, it was Anthem. Uh, this uh, I uh, associate with uh, very nice uh, amplifiers and uh, home cinema systems. Uh, what is the, the current line of products uh, for Anthem now? The current line of products is, um, was mostly home cinema, but also we have uh, um, Premiere on this show. 
Um, we, we show the first time we play in Europe the new stereo preamp and power amp. And we also have a new stereo integrated amplifier. So Ansem is coming back from only uh, multi-channel to two-channel. And there's a big history because in the past maybe some of your Hi-Fi fans know Sonic Frontiers. Yeah. Because Ansem is Sonic Frontiers. And so they are now going back to two-channel again, but also again with the Ansem R ARC, the room correction, and for example, even the uh, stereo system has a subwoofer set up in the amplifier so that you can have a subwoofer to your two-channel system. And the amplifier is very modern when it comes to the inputs and to all the menus. And they really try to, to do just not try to do a simple stereo system, they wanted to bring some new technology out of the multi-channel systems into the stereo systems. Yeah, and uh, because now you, you have uh, two loudspeaker companies and one uh, amplifier company, uh, are you using uh, Anthem amplifiers to test your speakers just to have a kind of synergy between them or is are those product line completely separate? No, um, Paradigm and Ansem is more or less one company in the same building with the same development department. And so sometimes even it's parallel that the speaker gets developed while the amplifier gets developed. And so at, at uh, the company in Canada, we have a big home cinema, which is surely done with Ansem. So all our testing is done with Ansem Electronics. Sure, we also take a look at other brands to see if our, how our speakers play with the other brands. So there's a big synergy between Paradigm and Ansem. And when it comes to home cinema, also with Martin Logan. But Martin Logan is still from the developing side, is still in Lawrence, Kansas. Paradigm Ansem bought Martin Logan in 2005. And the production moved to Canada, but all research is still done in Lawrence, Kansas. And uh, maybe while we returned a little bit to Martin Logan, uh, I uh, always heard that uh, electrostatic speakers are very difficult loads for the amplifiers and you really need to have a, a well, very powerful amplifier to drive them. And uh, how did you handle this? Uh, um, this is also one of the prejudices we, we face from the past. This is the knowledge about Martin Logan from uh, 10 or 15 years ago. The actual lineup like especially the masterpiece series with the active space, it's not a big load for the amplifier because the amplifier only has to do the electrostatic panel, which is not doing nothing below 300 hertz. And so the amplifier has sees an easy load. Most of the electrostatic panels has, have a sensitivity around 90 dBs. Yeah. And um, for example, you can run with a nice tube amplifier, let's say 40 watts, 60 watts, you can you can run one of our biggest models, that's not a problem. And a lot of people don't know the problem, the electrostatic uh, um, panel goes below one ohm, that's right, yeah. but it goes below one ohm up to 20 kilohertz. And that's not a problem for most amplifiers. Maybe there is one amplifier out there who does not work, but normally uh, today it's no problem. You don't have to use the, the big 1000 watt amplifiers. Okay, so thank you very much for this uh, conversation. I hope you will still enjoy the show. And uh, well, I hope we can speak uh, next year, for example. I would like to thank you very much.